How to get started in an MMA career with zero dollars, no money out of your pocket. Four proven ways that I've personally used that have helped me. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Miles Jury, a professional mixed martial arts fighter. I've had 14 plus fights with the UFC and I'm currently signed with Bellator. I've been fighting my whole life. I want to go over a topic today that a lot of people always ask me. Miles, I want to get started in MMA, but I don't know how. Miles, I want to get started in mixed martial arts, but I don't really have any money. And these are all great questions because it's real life stuff. So that's the topic we're going to go over for today. Four proven ways to get started in MMA with no money out of your pocket. Being an MMA fighter, you have to train every day, a lot of times twice a day. You have to eat right, eat a lot of food. You have to have a place to sleep so you can rest and wake up and do it all over again. And all of these are not free. So today we're going to talk about first, how to get your gym fees taken care of, how to have those paid for. We're also going to talk about how to pay for your food. And we're going to talk about some ways to get your, your housing paid for all of which are gonna be zero dollars out of your pocket. These four methods, as I'll call them, are gonna help you kickstart your MMA career. Method number one is gonna be how to afford your gym fees. When you're a mixed martial arts fighter on the come up, you really have to go to a gym and you have to train. I mean, this is just one of the things that leads to success. So you need to go to a gym that offers wrestling, jujitsu, striking. You need coaches around that are watching you on a daily basis, making sure you're doing the right techniques. You need training partners that you can drill with, you can spar with, all of which that are going to help you get to the big leagues and have a career in mixed martial arts. MMA gyms and training fees, they're not that cheap. I mean, they can cost hundreds of dollars a month, plus you got hundreds of dollars in training equipment and uh, stuff you need to get started. To be able to pay for the gym fees, I would first suggest uh, talk to the gym owner. Go up to them and just talk to them. Say, hey, look, I don't have money. I have a big dream of starting an MMA career, and I'm really serious about this. Is there a possible way that I can clean the gym, maybe step, spend a couple of hours each week, you know, taking out the trash, sweeping the mats, washing the mats, and in return, ask them, say, hey, can I have a, a, a sponsorship or a free training membership if I was able to clean the mats and help out around here? You'd be surprised at how many gym owners will actually love this idea. You're actually providing them with a great service that you know they would otherwise have to pay for. On top of that, they love a good, motivated person coming to them that wants to make it and has dreams. So it's a win-win for both. For the expensive training gear, I would suggest that there's always a loaner box at the gym. This is a box of gear where people left it. Maybe they got new gear and they they just left their their old gloves or shin guards or or uh, hand wraps at the gym and basically they went and bought new ones and they're they're basically in a box at the gym. Now there might be a little stinky or they might be uh, not brand new, but this is free stuff for you to, to go and wear when you're starting off. Boxing gloves, there's usually MMA gloves, shin guards. Every gym that I've been to, there's always a loaner box. And this box is also used for when people come into the gym and they're new. They don't, they don't have all the equipment and maybe they don't know if they're gonna continue training and they want to actually use it and try it, but without buying it. So this is a, a gym usually always has this type of box laying around. And it's perfect for a young person trying to start out with an MMA career. It doesn't cost you anything. Another good way to get your gym fees covered is to offer to teach classes. Now you're just starting out and you might not be ready to teach classes right off tops, but explain to the owner, say, hey, once I get get going and I start learning and maybe in six months or eight months or a year, I can teach some classes for you. And with that, you can you know provide me with a free membership. I actually did this a lot. I would teach classes and it really, really helped me. Method number two is how to pay for your food. Being an upcoming MMA fighter, you really got to eat a lot of food. You got your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, if not more. I mean, you're burning so many calories every day from working out that food is super, super important and you're gonna be eating a lot of it. I myself, when I'm in a training camp, I spent hundreds to thousands of dollars per camp just on groceries and, and eating. So the second method is to go into local restaurants and shops 
and tell them, explain to them, say, hey, look, I'm an up-and-coming MMA fighter. I'm starting out. I have big dreams. I'm taking this very seriously. Now, I really can't afford to have a full-time job and afford to, to have three meals each day. So I was wondering if you would be willing to sponsor me. Sponsor me with maybe two meals a day, maybe three meals a day. And in return, I'll be putting your, your logo on my shorts. I'll be putting your logo on my fight shirt and my fight shorts. And I'll be able to represent your company the bigger and bigger I get. A lot of business owners and restaurant owners love this idea. It's great marketing for them. They get to support an up-and-coming kid or, or adult that has big dreams of making it one day. I did this personally with a company out here in San Diego, a restaurant called Malt Shop. Delicious food, great people. And I went to them back when I was in King of the Cage and I explained, I said, hey, you know, I want to be in the UFC. I want to make it one day. Would you guys you know, maybe be interested in sponsoring me. I really don't have a lot of money right now and I really can't afford to eat correctly. And they did, they really did. They were like, yeah, come on in a couple times a day and we'll feed you. Cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, lemon, some feta cheese, bomb, some point. That's how Champ does it. Let's keep it real with the garden sound. <laughs> Miles, new sponsor, the malt shop, say what up. <laughs> the food was excellent. Now with the malt shop, I really got lucky because not only were they there to sponsor me when I was coming up and helping my MMA career, till this day, they're family to me. I go in there all the time. I have great food, great conversation. And the owners, Faras and Jeff, they're just amazing people and it's the best food, delicious. I would suggest if you're ever in San Diego, for sure hit up the malt shop. Method number three, how to pay for your housing. This is probably one of the biggest costs you have to incur coming up as a fighter. And it's just like anybody else in the world. The housing is one of your biggest expenses. And it's no different being an MMA fighter. Now I suggest living as cheaply as you can with your housing. Instead of going out and getting your own house, your own apartment, I would first suggest to team up with other friends and other fighters and maybe rent out an apartment and split up the rooms. Or rent out a house and each person has their own room and you guys can split up the rent that way. You can always go and get a bigger house, a nicer apartment, get all the bells and whistles. When you get higher up in your career, you make it to the big leagues. But for now, you have to live frugal, you have to live cheap, especially on the come up. I know some of you are out there saying, but Miles, that still costs rent. I still have to pay for that. And yes, that is still gonna cost you money. But one thing you can do is, and this is a, a prime example that I've done, is provide your services to whoever's living in the house. So let me give you an example. I lived in a two bedroom apartment with four people at one time. I really didn't have any money, so what I did is I, I let them have the rooms and I put a bed in the front room. <laughs> I literally slept in the front room for two years. What's funny too is that even when I made it to the big league, I still stayed in that front room for another year. That way I keep my overhead low and keep stacking that money and saving it and investing in real estate. It's our tree. It's pretty tight. Picked that out ourselves. Um, sissy face is coming. I don't know what he's doing in there. I think he's getting the gifts. Where else is from? Right. Right. I have a receipt. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, thanks. Thanks. Like a onesie. But maybe you don't have to go that crazy, but I did. And while I was at this apartment, I really didn't have money to even pay for that front room. So what I did is I talked to some of the roommates, and what I could do for one of them was personal train him. So for a half hour, once or twice a week, I would hold mitts for him. I would uh, I would go over some boxing stuff with them. I would teach him a little bit of techniques and give him a good workout. And literally, that was that was what I did. I provided a service for him, and there was, if there was anything else I could do around the house, whether it's cooking, cleaning, I would do it. And at that time, I was able to pay for my housing so I could go train full-time. Another option for your housing, too, is maybe talk to the owner of the gym and explain to him, say, hey, I don't really have a place to live. Is there anywhere in this gym that I can live? I've seen students and up-and-coming MMA fighters live in uh, the attic areas. I've seen them live in the back rooms, in the utility rooms. Wherever they could put a bed and get some rest, that was where they could sleep. So again, you could talk to the owner and possibly work out something to help out the gym, work around the gym, and be able to live for free. Method number four, the ultimate method I call this one. This one is the method where you're gonna get your housing taken care of, your food taken care of, uh, your transportation taken care of, all the above. This is where you're gonna find 
a professional mixed martial arts fighter, maybe somebody who's already in the UFC or in Bellator, in the bigger shows, and they're making good money. And now what you're going to do is you're going to offer to be an apprentice for them. You're going to offer to be a sparring partner. You're going to offer to be a drill partner. You're going to offer to basically come in and provide your services in any way you can, whether that means cooking meals for them, whether that means doing the dishes, cleaning the house, washing the car, going to the gym with them, going on runs with them, whatever it is, you're going to provide that for them. And in return, what they're going to do for you is they're going to let you stay at their house. They're going to give you a room. They're going to pro provide you with food. They're going to provide you with transportation to the gym. And this is an awesome route because you're going to basically see what it's like on a daily basis to be a top level mixed martial arts fighter. It's, it's the best route I would suggest if you can find somebody to do this because you're getting that day-to-day -day experience and that's the best learning experience of what it's like to be a professional mixed martial arts fighter. And on top of that, you don't have to go to work. Your basically job is to help that, that fighter or that person win their fights. And in return again, you get to train, you get to, to live like a fighter, you get that real life experience. It's a great method because it's a win-win for both. I've personally used this method plenty of times. I would have fighters offer to, to bring me out, and this is when I was first coming up. This wasn't when I was in the big leagues or had a name for myself or anything. I went into gyms in Florida and Iowa, and I would go in there and just meet and train with people, and they loved training with me a lot, that they would offer to fly me in for their training camps and let me stay with them for a month and basically be an apprentice to them. I would help them train, and they would provide me with a house, they would provide me with transportation, food, and it was great. I learned a lot and I really helped them out a lot because they had greater opportunities to win their fights. I actually had a fan come up to me one day and say, hey man, aren't you that guy that used to make protein shakes for Jeremy Stevens in the vlog videos? Uh, we got the blueberries, got some banana, some strawberries, got some uh, muscle farm protein in there. Got the best protein around over here. A little bit of uh, honey almond butter, honey almond roasted butter. So good. Damn it. So we're going to blend that all up, you know, get those good nutrients in us, all natural. And then uh, we'll have to go do some training here in a little bit, getting after it. Special guest Fury showing us how he does it. So back, back in the day, I used to make him whip up all my protein shakes. Now he's gone and he stopped by for a little visit. <laughs> for old time's sake. And yeah, that was me. All the way from making protein shakes to fighting in the UFC. Do whatever it takes. There you have it. There's four ways to get started in mixed martial arts with zero dollars out of your own pocket. All four of these ways have personally worked for me and possibly they can work for you. Remember, at the end of the day, there's no excuses and if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. Money is just an idea that gets in the way of stopping you sometimes. There are ways around that if you believe strongly enough and you want it bad enough. Let me know your thoughts on these four ways in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.